stay happy and creative. My name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp, Clarity Craft here in the UK, and we're going to get together and doodle a little bit. Is anybody in the building with me? I know that our Paul is over at Clarity Towers monitoring and uh, he'll be helping you. Sorry I'm a bit late. I was I was scrambling to get a cup of tea. Let me just check one second. Let me just check the volume so that I'm not shouting at you um, because I just need to tone it down a little bit. That's better. There you go. I think I should be able to get rid of that screen. There we are. Well, happy Monday. And how was your weekend? We had a fantastic weekend. Fortunately, it's rained. It rained yesterday here, so the garden's very grateful. And, um, and we got our water back after a week, so we're very grateful too. It's good to have your company. Let's let a few more people turn up, and then we'll get cracking. How are you anyway? Everybody all right? Have you got a cup of tea? Have you had your breakfast? I don't do breakfast. I find if I do breakfast, it just makes me hungry all day. So I wait and I and I don't eat until about lunchtime. I'm trying to lose some weight. Not that I'm ever going to get into a bikini again, but I just think it's easier on the old knees. <laughs> I lost a lot of weight when I was in hospital and I don't want to put it back on again. So there you go. Um, might have to pop in and out and babysitting. Well, hello, Ken. Um, yes. So, yeah, we had a fantastic weekend. We went to a, a rock concert, a festival. Americana, it's called, but it was pretty good. Um, it, it, Americana doesn't really um, describe it. If, you, if, you're, if you're into the music in the 80s and the 70s, then that's the gig for you. So we, we got to see um, Bonnie Raitt on Saturday night, which was amazing. And Chrissy Hind, The Pretenders, boom, my favourite, all-time favourite. She was brilliant. So was Bonnie Raitt. Yeah, and, you know, loads of other, loads of other acts, loads of other performers. It was pretty good. And the weather was beautiful. And the gig is gorgeous. It's right in... Um, in Eridge, there's that old Lord Fauntleroy. He's got like major acreage, and um, and it's set in the hills of his land. It's very nice, very nice indeed. So so that was a lovely thing. But yesterday we decided to stay at home because we could see that the weather was changing, and and so we stayed at home. Yeah, and uh, and I was aching from all the dancing and jumping about from the. Saturday. <laughs> so how how are we doing? 113 people in the room. It's climbing. It's good to have your company anyway. And um, last week when we got together, we were um, we were looking at we were coloring, weren't we? We were shading, and we really got into it. And um, if you recall. We were, we were looking at the shading. I didn't get any further, really. I did a little bit on the butterfly, but I didn't really get much further than that. Um, but we had a really good session on, on shading, didn't we? And I really enjoyed um, this, this particular project. In fact, I thought I enjoyed it so much, I thought I'm going to do it again. <laughs> not again, not exactly the same. That would be ridiculous. But I thought, you know, I want to stay on this bus for a little bit longer. I want to stay on this bus for a little bit longer. For anybody who's joining us for the first time, um, let me just show you how we got to this place. Oh, sorry about that. Um, what we did was we drew it on tracing paper, as is our want. So we drew it on tracing paper. And then I had another idea because what, well, I drew it on trace paper. And then when we got together, we drew it on two different layers like that because I thought this would be really useful on its own. So we split it 
And then that way you've got your templates and you can use this on other pieces. What we did when we drew it, we took the flowers that we doodled in here and we created a border with the same doodles. So that came out really nicely. And you can see here it is transferred. Can you hear that cat meowing? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Let me just see which one it is. Um, you want to come in? Hold on a minute. It'll be meowing all the time otherwise. Where are you then? Well, come on then. Come on, come and see our friends. Come on. You want to come in or not? You're no good sitting on the roof. All right, well, don't meow then. You want to come in or not? Come on. Oh, come on, Eric. <laughs> go on. In you go. Apologies. Is that Eric? I can't tell until I look at his gimpy leg. Well, his leg's not gimpy, but the, the fur is just a little bit lighter now where it grew back. Okay. There we go. He's here somewhere. He'll, he'll rock up. Um, yeah, so I thought, let's have another look at this and stay. To me, it's quite Japanesey, you know. So I thought, yes, it's bus 309, if I'm not mistaken. And I thought, yeah, let's stay on the bus to Japan, shall we? I was actually thinking about um, next year going to Japan. Dave and I, we're looking into it for a holiday, you know, because the pottery in Japan is just, I, I love their culture. I, it, they fascinate me. Japanese, Japanese people and their art, it just, it grabs me. It, it really does. So I thought... I'd like to go there. Hang on. We've got a visitor. Where are you? Yeah, so today we're staying on the Japan bus, number 309, the Japan bus. Do you remember we went to Japan right at the beginning of lockdown as well? And we drew the, that geisha with the cherry blossom and, and those pebbles, those really funky pebbles, the stones that she was standing on. That was pretty cool. I'll have to dig that one out again. Anyway, back to Japan. So, um, Paul, everything okay? Because I'd like to get started. And, um, and I thought I th I'll show you where we're going so that you can, you can see. So I've drawn another one. There you go. Different, similar but different. So this one, for example, has got a really nice background. I want to show you how to do that. And this is a different butterfly. And different flowers too. I thought we'd get into a bit of symbolism. Let's get into some symbols and what different things. Because, you know, the Japanese, the Chinese, they're really the symbolism of flowers, butterflies, you know, numbers. It's very much so it's part of their culture, isn't it? So I thought, well, let's see what we can find. I mean, I'm no expert, but... Um, but I know how to Google. <laughs> go, go, Google. Yeah, you want to find out about what things symbolize, just hit Google. <laughs> it's amazing, really, isn't it? Wikipedia. What did we do before Wikipedia? Encyclopedia Britannica, that's what we did. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. What do we need? We need tracing paper. Have you got a pad of tracing paper? Well, I mean, you could go straight onto copy paper, but tracing paper is good because that way we can split out the layers like I showed you. So we've got tracing paper and then we need a pencil, don't we? So I'm going to pick a pencil, pick a pencil. I think I'll just go with a bog standard HB pencil. I probably want to use a rubber, an eraser for our American friends. Um, eraser. Okay. There you go. Who says we need loads of gear? Right. Oh, and I'll tell you another thing that we're going to use later on. Is Beryl Shepherd in the building? Mrs. Shepherd, are you there? Come on, Beryl. This is for you. While we were at the open days, Beryl started waving this in front of me. She said, why did I buy this? 
You told me to buy it and I bought it because I'm like that. <laughs> I love Beryl. She goes, so what are we doing with it? So I said, oh, I promise, Beryl, we'll use it in the shack. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to use this extra fine, beautiful brush pen. It's a brush pen. And I did, we did use it before when we were doing calligraphy and writing. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to use it to do Japanese symbols. Okay. We'll do that this week and next week. So well worth investing in if you haven't got it. They're very good. Very good. I'll show you how they work today anyway. You know, like we use uh, these pens. We use the Micron pens, don't we? And the thing about the Micron pens is fabulous. Really, really ex well, hey. <laughs> excellent for, for inking. But a Micron pen is is a, is a nib. It's a tight nib. So when you use it, all you'll get is, let's get a bit of paper and I'll show you, show you the difference. With this, all I'm going to, well, let's get one that works. Hang on. Let's see if I can find, where's my number one? There you are. That's the one we always use. You see, so when I use my number one, all I ever get is that thickness. Otherwise, what would be the point? You couldn't call it something else because you can't, you can't press and it goes fatter and thinner. This pen is the sort that goes fatter and thinner as you apply pressure. So it's a uniball, really good. It's a fine line. It's extra fine. It's water and fade proof. So it's the same family as this, except when I see, so I can go really thin like that and I can press hard and I can come back up again. And I can go down, I can go up, I can twizzle. See? So that's what we're talking about now. It's a brush. So you can imagine for, for calligraphy or for writing symbols, it's ideal. Okay. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to draw some Japanese words, the ideograms that we're so familiar with that we like. For example, peace, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, that's what that pen's for. And I bet she's not here today. <laughs> Beryl, Beryl, where are you? <laughs> uh, anyway, she'll catch up. Um, yes, so what we're going to do today, though, before we go to Beryl's pen, we're going to just regroup and sketch our new Japanese water lily, lotus, butterfly design together. How's that sound? Hey, I tell you what, I definitely feel a stamp set coming on here, don't you? I'm telling you, 100%. These would be so beautiful as stamps. So beautiful. Yep. Absolutely fantastic. So that's what we're going to do for sure. But you know what's really cool? We'll get the stamps sorted out and we'll go on telly and we'll take them to the TV and we'll, we'll show the rest of the world what we do in the shack. What's that? What? Does anyone speak cat? What do you want? <laughs> you want to come and say hello? I'm working. What do you want? I don't know. Beryl is in the room. Bonjour, Beryl. This one's for you. Hang on. Not the cat, though. <laughs> Let me just find. Do you want to come and say hello? He's thinking, who's she talking to? <laughs> who, who, who's she talking to? Weird mother. <laughs> this one doesn't like sitting on my lap. Do you, darling? Go on. Let me get on with my work. Hmm? I'm going to sling him out in a minute. Okay, come on. Let's get going. Morning, Beryl. So what we need to do this job is, oh, download. Did you, did you download this one? It's really good. It's a really good download because what we're going to do is find, there you go, on here, we want the, the two outer ones. 
let's show i'll show you the one that i'm going to use there you go so we're going to use that one outest outermost on the small and the one around the outside of it and then we'll well, well we're just going to do that today that'll do okay so this is what we're going to do i really like the pattern around the outside even if i say so myself and um well, so are these water lilies? Don't know. Are they lotuses? They're barbs design. I don't know. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a specialist. But we're definitely going to get the feeling of beautiful look peace. That's what I think. Peace, which is what led me to peace. Okay. <laughs> oh, which led me to Beryl. <laughs> <laughs> okay now let's have a look where's that eric gone hey where's eric gone so let's take our i tell you what i'm going to do to protect the the other tracing papers so i don't press through i'm going to put a piece of white copy paper let's go out a little bit so you can see what i'm up to so I've got my tracing paper, I've got some white copy paper, which protects the rest of the pad. And then I'm going to take my, my circle that I'm going to use. There it is. That'll do. And I ought to really attach it, only because if I don't... So tracing paper, template... And I'm going to, I mean, listen, friends, if you haven't got that, look, you can draw around a circle, you can draw around a cup, you draw around a plate, draw around anything. If you haven't got the download, I'm just using the download because I have a download. Right, here we go. So we'll just pop that on there. And Paul says that he's posted the link for the download. Even if you don't use it today, it'd be well worth, um, it would be well worth downloading friends right so now i'm going to spiral so i just want to take my my book out of the way and what have you only so that i can i've got a free reign as i go round. and what i think i'll do i'll use the hb pencil because hb is quite soft and it means that when i transfer it to card i don't have to it'll be it'll be great Okay, and I'm going to use that line and that line. So as I go around, get my eye in, see, just nice and smooth. And as I go around, I'll go, I'll go on both tracks. I'll run on both tracks. So I'll do that, and then I'll come in, and I'll do the same on that one. This is going to give us our, of course, you in my tummy? Golly, that's what happens when you don't eat breakfast. <laughs> right, here we go. So I'm going to do that line, just as it's, I'm going to go as far as it's comfortable to go. There we are. Has anybody ever been to Japan? Has anybody in the room ever been to Japan? Dave and I are fascinated. Their artwork, oh their food um we watch a lot of youtubes um japanese potters japanese printers god they're so good the woodcutters as in reduction art when they start Printing, phenomenal. Right, that should be good enough. Let me see. Yeah, perfect. That'll do. So I've got my my frame, and this um, this download is invaluable, really, for that kind of thing. You know, so I've got that, and then. I'm going to let's have a look. Well, let's have a look at what I've already done. And then you'll see. You get a rough idea of where I'm headed. I do need to, I think I need to sharp, sharpen my pencil a little bit. 
So let me sharpen it. Oh, that sounds a bit ropey. To clean the sharpener. Oh, that'll be all right. Go slowly. It'll be fine. Okay, let's have a look. Lotus. How to draw a lotus. What does the lotus symbolise? Purity of mind, body and soul. There you go. <laughs> Told you, Google rocks. <laughs> Don't think I'm knowledgeable. I have a thirst for knowledge. I have a thirst for knowledge and I'm always looking things up and learning. Never stop learning, you know. Am I knowledgeable? Um... I know a lot of stuff, but that's only because I have an inquiring mind, you know. It doesn't make me clever. It just makes me have an inquiring mind. <laughs> and I satiate it. I kind of, I'm always asking questions. I'm always learning. I'm always curious, you know, curious and curiouser. I think a lot of us crafters are like that, though, aren't we? I went to a talk. We went all the way down to Hove actually hove actually um right next door to brighton um on thursday night to a talk in a gallery fascinating you know it was only 10 quid a head and there were only 10 people there but the lady she was a, a, a ceramicist artist her story was so interesting i just sat stunned for two hours listening to this woman and looking at her artwork fantastic then we came home again. That beats telly, you know. I guess it's just, um, it's making the effort, isn't it? It's making, it's taking the step, putting in the action, as they say, you know. Right, has that given you a chance to catch up with me? So if we look at my picture, we've got, let's just take the bit of composition going on here. So what we've got is, we've got a butterfly that's, nudging up here then we've got a lily or a lotus flower down here then we've got two here nice right we don't have to we don't have to um completely copy what i'm doing but what you've got to do is if you're going to put a big lovely lotus at the bottom and a couple then you do really need to leave space if your butterfly takes up the whole area then you you're going to be limited on your flowers that's all Okay, so Paul tells me that Jill Wilding went to Japan. Did you, Jill, in April? I need to talk to you. And Pat Hoskins has also been well, Pat. You see, education, 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 eh? All that traveling makes life richer. So we're going to put a butterfly there. Let's do that first. Yeah. So we're going to put a butterfly here. So we'll air draw for a bit just to make sure. So I don't want to come. Let's just make some circles, very light circles. So my butterfly is going to be there. My lily is going to be there, about there. And then the other two are there. That'll do. Have I got it about right? You? No, oh, does it? Right. So I've got my rough area. Just give me enough space. Right. So now I've got my, I want to put my, this is where you decide. What angle do you want to do your butterfly? I think I'm going to turn my butterfly around a little bit more like that, which is a bit too straight on, really. So the body dictates. So if that's in the middle, I'm just going to put my butterfly body right there. Nice skinny one. Where's that cat gone? Sounding, sounding very quiet. Let me just check. He's all, he can't, he's having a nap somewhere, isn't he? Let me just check where he is. Excuse me a moment. I'm curious again. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's fine. I'll leave him there. Don't disturb him. Oh, he's having a little wash. <laughs> Jenny Hopkins from Australia went on a cruise around Japan. God, you know, that excites me. Australia as well. What another, another destination, eh? Right, so if that's the body of the butterfly, and then it's going to have its antenna, antennae, 
There you go. Aerials. <laughs> now, let's have a look at this butterfly because we want to make it different to the last one. So, all right. So it's quite nice. Let's get it. It's quite a nice one, isn't it? It's got that lovely. I'm going to go to this side. You only have to get one side right, really. So the butterfly is going to start. If you look, right, I'm going to start it there. And then we'll put the, we'll get it to about there. That's going to be the first leaf, a uh, leaf, petal. <laughs> Good Lord. Um, well, it tells you where my head is. Let's call it a wing. <laughs> Isn't that lovely, though? That's quite nice to call it that. Right, so we're going to come air drawing, friends. So we're going to come like that and then like that. I don't mind if we go out a little bit. There you go. That would be nice. And then we're going to, we could always, you know, we can do our, our symmetry trick by folding it over. Or we could just try to draw it symmetrically. Should we try that? Give it a go. Come on. Can't be that hard. What do I think? Yeah, so like that. That'll do. Looks quite good. And then the bottom one, like that. I might make that a bit pointier. Looks a bit nicer like that, doesn't it? Go up a bit further. And now you know why we draw on. Yeah, definitely. We're going to come up like that a bit more. There. That looks a bit. Mm -mm. Yeah. Up, 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 up. That's nice. There you go. That'll do. And then the bottom one is like a, also like a little leaf, isn't it? So we'll start it here, though like that right and then we're going to drop it down so it's going to come down like that let's have a look let's not just not copy it let's just use our imagination like that that's quite nice see what that looks like yeah if you like it if you don't like it you see you can change it it's like a lot of things in life there you go if you like it, then you can draw it in, can't you? If you don't like it, then leave it. Don't, don't, you don't have to settle for it. It's like lots of things. Now here, let's have a look. If we come down like that, this butterfly wing. So this is, you're going to get stuck with it if you, if you. And it's your centerpiece really, isn't it? So you want to make sure you love it. Don't you? What do I think? Make a little drop on it like so we can go like that. Here we go. Look, see if you don't like it, change it, Barbara. That's what the eraser is for. I did have it. Where did I put that? There it is. See? Yeah. That's really the main reason why we work on tracing paper, apart from the fact that we're creating templates is that so that if we don't like something, it's so easy to change it before you... See, you can make that little drop. See, I'm liking that better, and I think I want to come up a bit more. Here we go. Doesn't matter if you go out the box. Who cares? Art's art. It's art. Dave made a lovely picture for me. Check it out. It's... What is it? It's art. <laughs> Isn't that great? On a cardboard, on a piece of cardboard. I do love my husband. Isn't that super? What is it? It's art. <laughs> I, I say that quite a lot with my pottery. <laughs> what is it? Oh, does it have to be something? It's art. There you go. That looks better, doesn't it? So, I'm going to have to start Picking a few brains about Japan, I think. That's important. See that one there? I think we can make that a bit thinner there. Hmm? Don't you? What do I think? Does that one come up a bit like that? Looks a bit better, doesn't it, if it comes up a bit? Eh? Yeah. Make the bottom more pronounced, eh? Yeah, I like that one. And, oh, that was a bit loud. Because it's art, okay, it's our interpretation of a butterfly. I'm not going to submit this to the Natural History Museum, am I? 
<laughs> so it's whatever I want this butterfly to be. And your butterfly is whatever you want it to be. Right, let's have a look. It's totally different to that one. Fine. But what we can do is create, let's see, it's got lovely markings, hasn't it? So let's do this. So then we've got room to put some really nice markings in like that. And I think this one down here, hmm, that's going to look nice. So you come down like that. So you're going to put a little kind of jacket on inside. Look, see? So you know you can put like a big eye there, can't you? For example, if you choose to, there and there. That would look quite nice, you know, Barbara. Hey. See? It's quite good, really, when you get going. And then this one, I put veins in it as well, which is quite nice. Okay. That'll do. Look, we could put one big vein. Let's put one big vein there like that. And then they've definitely got to be symmetrical ish, haven't they? Like that. Yeah. And then off that one, we could put we could put two smaller ones like that. There you go. So that one goes to that, and that one goes to that. Good enough. And then here, what we could do is just put look, put two down like that, like two droplets. And that'll give you um I reckon. So then we can go like that and like that and like that and like that. Doesn't that look pretty? Eh? And then what we could do here is let's put a there we are. Look. That'll do. That'll do. Cool butterfly. Hmm? I'm happy with that. Now we'll get rid of all our markings. See, and once we're happy with our design, because that's what we are, you know, we're designers. Once we're happy with our design, then we can we can make it heavier, you know, so that we can transfer it. But let's get it in place first. Right, so that butterfly's perfect. There you go, I've turned him around a little bit. But what I really would like to do as well is put a flower in here, right at the bottom. So you can see I practiced my, my lotus and my water lily here. So it's quite an easy one to draw. And this kind of gives you the shape anyway. This is, it, it's sort of there, see? It's there. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Let's bring it up a little bit. So you've got a, that's the base of it there. That'll do. So if we use that as the base of our water lily, like that, and then we've got to decide how tall we want it to be. So if that's the base and that's the height of it, let's say, and then we want to put the first, the first petal in at the front. Okay, so we're going to go from there to there, and we'll just go like that and like that. See, that one, that one, and that one. And so that's that one. A bit ropey, grey. That's all right. I like that. Okay, and then the next one is going to be, well, then we've got to put these two in. That one. And that one. These two. So they're behind that one. So if this is the, if this is the, we've got a bit of a circle going around here like that. Okay, just to give us a guide. Then this, these two are going to be here in the, in the middle, that and that. Yeah, and they're going to come down to here. So this is going to travel. This one's going to travel here, like so. It's like a cup. There you go. And that one will travel like that. This is good enough. And then if it were there, it would be there. Do you see? You just you draw it, but it's not there. So this one, for example, would be like that. And then you press. 
So I've got, um, if it were coming in, it would go there, wouldn't it? But we don't want that. We don't want that. So we're just going to, we won't overlap it. So now if you want it to be a bit sharper, now's the chance to change it. This one looks a bit soft. There you go. So now I've got those two. Now we want, next thing to do is this one, that one there, and this one here. Is this all right? So now we've got these two, and then we've got these two here, that one, and that one. These fill in the gap. So we've got one here, that's the middle of that one, and then this is just a half one. So again, it's, it's as if it were coming from the center here, and it comes out, and then it goes to there. See? So you just, it's invisible, that drawing. So here... It goes from there, it goes like that, and then it comes, and then it stops there, there. Nice enough, nice enough for sure. Okay, and then this one here, we'll just pop another couple in, so that's there. See, that will come down and hit that, that will come down and hit that. And then we'll do another one. I mean, it's different to the one I drew, but that's all, cool. that's all good. So it's going to come like that and then hit that there, like so. Cool, I've just had another little idea, which would look really pretty. If you did like this, like that, I just had a little thought. In the top, instead of going to a tip, you could, you could come to a kind of a, like that. So you've got a little, little, divot out the top as if there were two leaves you see what i mean just another design idea but that looks quite nice too if you see doesn't it if you get what i mean anyway we're going to stick to the plan so we've got this done now what we'll do is we'll decorate this flower so it's easy all we're going to do is put three little flowers in there and then some lines over the back okay so on on the side of that one, but not down, the, not there. And then in here, like that. I think this looks good, you know. It's a building game, isn't it? And then we've got three little flowers. There we are. I've got something interesting I want to share with you that I Googled. And I thought, what a lovely... What a lovely thing. So, so the lotus flower, let's just call this a lotus flower for want of a better idea, right? So the lotus flower symbolizes uh, enlightenment and beauty, and purity. Okay, right, hang on a minute. So get this in. So now we've got this one here. It's going to come up like that and then go back down again. There you are. So that's a nice flower yeah so the lotus flower it symbolizes in japanese life it symbolizes enlightenment and beauty where's my rubber and they say that there's a lotus flower in every hindu's heart there is a lotus flower and when that lotus flower blooms the person achieves enlightenment. And I thought that was beautiful. That, that idea that you have a flower in your heart and when it blooms, you achieve enlightenment. Isn't that something special? That a bit taller. I think that's rather lovely. That's better. Looks a bit better now. There we are. Butterfly, lotus flower, water lily, whatever you fancy. Right, next thing. So I think now we should add these two flowers. They're the smaller version of the larger version. So we should be able to do this quite straightforward. Best idea, I think, is to draw a little cup. Look, isn't they pretty? 
in actual fact, right, another design idea, if you left the line in here, if you let, you know, when you draw a line to give yourself the shape, then it look lovely with the line in too. I mean, from an arty point of view. So what we've got to do now is make a cup. Look, if you look here, you're going to make a cup there and a cup there, and then we'll pull them in. We'll pull them in. So we're going to have one here. Let's go there like that. Air drawing to start with, just to get it in place. I'm going to put one there, and then I'm going to pop. So that one is going to come round like that, let's say. All right, I know you can't see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just air drawing at the moment to get it in the right place. And then this one is going to different angle now to make it more interesting. I'm going to put that one mm, there like that. There we are. There. Smiling. Nice. So you see, when you deconstruct it, when you look at that, you think, where am I going to start? What you do is you do it one step at a time, one little thing at a time. So you put the big areas in, like the butterfly and the and the lily pad, the lily or the, the lotus, and then you build and you just you build a composition. I started with nothing. It's easier to copy. It's easier to to have something already. But I mean, I, I probably, I did actually, this was quite instant because of the balance of it. It came out well. Only thing I would have done was twisted the butterfly a bit. See? So now we've got the same situation and now we're going to give ourselves a, uh, a top bit. They are, they're like eyes, look. Let's go like that, just to give ourselves a, a shape. Yeah? Let's do this one first. So that's the top now. That's the bottom. That's the center there. Right, so lily or lotus, whatever you fancy. We'll do that one. Then we'll put that. Let's do one at a time. Then we'll put these in, always coming in like that. Stop there. That's it. Then that one. So we're going to come around in there, but then stop before we get to that. And then that's nice. And then this one's easy because it's just the end of that smiley face like that. And I still want to add a couple of little, because they're quite busy lotuses. I think that's the plural, Lot loti, <laughs> lotus, lotus flowers, right. Then we're just going to add the same pattern like that. It's pretty, isn't it? And then we'll put this in. There we go. Easy. Isn't that nice? We'll do one more. So you practice as well. So you're going to go, that's the base there. Right. Centre, go up there, and then we'll put the centre one in. Then we'll come halfway round on that side, halfway round on that side. So that will give us a nice sweep there. That's it. And then here, oh look, like that, and then this is going to come round like that. That'll be pretty. And then we're going to pop these ones in. See, the secret is to always head to the centre, to the middle, and then you air draw until you want to expose the petal. There you go. But if you drew them all the way, all of them, they'd all point to the same place, you see? And then, once we've done that, hang on, we've still got to put these two in. Make your centre point like that. Again, it's going to be logical. So, nice. And then we'll put our little pattern in like that on the back. It's 
quarter to 11 already. Can't believe how quickly time flies. Um, it's good of you to join me. I know that um, many people are on holiday at the moment. And many people have to go to work. Um, so we put a little triangle in there. That's going to be the base. There you go. Get rid of that. Nice. And then this one, same thing. That's the base of that flower. So then we'll pop. Where are we going to put that? Let's have a think. Uh, do I want to come round that way? Yeah, I do. Like that. Do I want to do that or do I want to come in that way? I'll do that. I'll do that. Because I have a plan. Ha <laughs> ha. I want to get to, I want to get to the border. You know, and if we don't get to the writing today, you know, the, the Japanese writing, well, that's okay. That gives you time to get the pen off us. Doesn't it? That would be nice because then we can do it together. So we've got our flowers in place. Right, so the, the next thing is the leaves. See, so the leaves that I've used, I thought they would be really nice. They're almost like bamboo leaves rather than water lily leaves. Very thin. So it's like that and then really thin. Okay, that'll do. Remember, we're art. this is art. You do what you like. So we're going to come from here. Like a step away from the stalk, if you like, move away from the stalk a little bit, like that, and then we're just going to go like up and down, really thin, and then we'll do a second one here, like that, almost, yeah, that'll do, and then we'll have another couple here, one and down again, and a small one. That's good enough. It just gives you. The, the sense of foliage. Right, we're going to put a bigger one in here. Right, so again, off that edge, like that. Don't want to make it too big, remember? And then we'll do another one there. Perfect. And do we want one, do we want a couple? I think that's enough. You know when your the little voice is going, that'll do, donkey? Maybe another one there. What about a bit of symmetry? Come on, Gray, one there. That's it. Nice. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So now, let's have a look. Done the leaves. Now we're going to do the outside thing. So this is an interesting shape. If you have a look at the pattern, okay, it's almost like, remember the old-fashioned... Brackets. Do you remember? Now, why do I know these brackets? There, like that. That's what we're doing. We're going all the way around. And I would suggest that we start up here and we work our way that way. Okay. Because then if it's not, if it doesn't join up perfectly, it's underneath the flower. <laughs> So, what do I think? How big do we want to go? Not that big. It's about an inch and a half long. Okay. So, we're going to go, let's have a go. To go lightly to start with. Let's put one right in the middle there. Like that. So, we're going to go like that and then like that. That'd be nice. So, it goes like that and then like that. Hmm? So, then we're going to go like that and then like that. So there's a lot of, you, you, you have to pretend it's there. So here again, so we're going to go like that and then like that. There's a lot of leaf things going on here. Like that. That's it. Let's get it in the right place. It's a nice, it's a nice border. So it goes like that. Then that goes under here. So you're going to go like that and then like that. So let's just pretend. Now, this time, going around this way, because I want it to be perfect up the top. Round here we can fiddle around a bit. 
we've got artist license so this is going to go like that and then like that that's lovely right here we go one and then back down again like a bracket and then here again we're going to go like that like that like that and like that right so bracket do you know i think this is going to fit perfectly like that look at that as if by magic right like that and then it goes down there and it comes in there so we've got our bracket in as well let's have a look see does yours look like that too yeah one so this is our that's going to be nice Right, I've gone quiet because I'm enjoying, I'm in the process. You know, we're always talking about the process, aren't we? And what we've got to do now, let's have a look. So we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Oh, it's lovely. And this pattern here, take a close look at it. I'm going to use a sharp pencil to do this. Um, I, I, we're going to do it, let's just do it on the, let's do it on here. And then we, we don't need to transfer it. You, you could just get have a little practice on here, and then we can do it directly with um, we can do it directly with ink next week when we ink it up. But the the idea is when you do this, let me see. So if that's the the wall there, it goes like this. We've done we've tried this before. Short stroke, long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke, long stroke. So you're coming in from the other side, short stroke into the center, right across, back the other way, and back that way, back that way, back that way, back that way, back that way. Got it? So you've got to kind of concentrate on this, which is great because it takes your mind off everything else. See? Like that. And that's what we're going to do around here. And it will look really nice, you know. And if you wanted to, you could come in a bit further. You, like, I'm, I'm almost tempted. Now that I've got the right, do you see? I'm almost tempted to come in a little bit more with my, like that. So I've got more room for play with my pattern. And once you've got it in in situ. You can, there you go, piece of cake. So this is going to come out a bit more like that, isn't it? And then, oh, that looks great. So it looks as if it's part of the butterfly. And then that way you take this line out. I reckon that probably is better, if you know what I mean. See? So you take this out. Now, let's have a look. While we're finishing this, let me tell you what's going on this week. So tomorrow, we've got uh, Paul. Our dear friend Paul is doing Groovy Tuesday at 10 o'clock for all you parchers out there. And this week, we've got something very special that we've been working on for months. And Linda Williams has been working on it for even longer. Um, so on Thursday at 4 o'clock, we're launching. Do you remember last year? The Christmas treasures, Linda's Christmas treasures. Well, so she's been working on this co collection again. A series, if you like, that will run over five months. Because last year we realised that it was a really good idea to, um, to split, you know, rather than have one massive, great, big collection. Um, we thought, even though we've got the entire collection in-house, we think that it makes sense to, to kind of meter it out a month at a time. So we do three plates one month and then three plates the next month. So Linda's created this really dynamic um, series of, of groovy plates. They, they're like a, they're, they're for layering. They're for layering. And when you see them, 
they're really clever and they're they're large they're a four square but they are they're layered and there's always a centerpiece and the three plates they're not christmas not all christmas there is a christmas set of three but then there are other just beautiful there's one i know there's a japan one um there are five different ones really lovely um and Paul is launching the first, which is the Christmas one, at four o'clock on Thursday on Create and Craft. There you go. And it's going to be one of those, um, definitely one of those collect the set things, you know. And then mid-month, when we know that everybody who's invested has um, got their got theirs, then we'll do a, a craft along. A free one, of course, a free craft along on a Friday night, which means that we can get together. And that what that means is that every every month we'll get together and we'll look at the um we'll look at the collection of the month that we've launched. And that way, you know, you don't get loads of plates all landing on you at the same time you get a chance to play with them, um, to digest the artwork, have a look at what's going on. I think it's a much, much better. And it's it's healthier from a spending point of view because you can you can really um, sort of allocate, you know, you know, this is coming up. This is what I'm going to do. I And you don't have to have all of them. If you only want three of them or two of them or, you know, I mean, personally, I can't, I can't imagine that you wouldn't want them all because they are pretty spectacular. The artwork that I've seen coming in from Linda um, uh, and, and it is, 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 is quite breathtaking. And one of the plates, this is so cool as well, one of each of the plates. So when there are, say, three plates, there's three plates and there's a fourth one with a corner for pattern building. But um, one of the big plates, it looks like cross stitch. It's, it's parchment art, but it looks like black work or, you know, like that beautiful embroidery. Just beautiful. So I think that you're going to really enjoy these. And so, so that's on Thursday we launched that, and it's a new and exclusive. So it's exclusive to create and craft until Saturday morning, and then Saturday morning at 9 o'clock it will be available on our website. Um, that's just the agreement that we have. That's why it's called a new and exclusive. So they give us the opportunity to showcase it, and then in return we give them the opportunity to maximise on sales for... 24 hours. And I think that's fair. I think that's absolutely the way it should be. Um, but then it will be available on our website from nine o'clock on Saturday morning. So, and then what else am I going to say? Yeah. And then on Saturday, so the, the hours of the new and exclusive are four o'clock on Thursday, eight o'clock on Thursday and eight o'clock in the morning on Friday. And then on Saturday, Tina, Lovely Tina Cox is back on telly and she will be uh, entertaining you uh, one o'clock and five o'clock of her hours. So that's worth uh, noting. If you fancy watching Tina, she's always, for me, very, very inspirational. I always learn when I watch Tina. There you go. Doesn't that look lovely? We're going to go all the way around. You've got to miss the butterfly in that. There we are. So we go around. And at this stage, and this is the key, at this stage, you want to change the butterfly. You want to bring the wing out a bit more, make that butterfly a bit bigger. Now's your chance. Now's the chance to do it. Um, and because, oh, Paul's just reminded me, on Saturday, Tina... Um, opted, she asked if she could take my Twas the Night plates on telly because we fall right in their Christmas season, creating craft a launch in Christmas on Thursday, which is why Linda Williams's collection is a Christmas one. Um, and then 
of course, uh, Tina will be in bang in the middle of their Christmas celebration. And then next week, I'll be on telly as well, f four or five hours. And that'll be Christmassy too. I know most people who aren't crafters think we're mad, but I don't think there's it's ever too early for Christmas, you know. Anyway, so so this is the point at which you can change what you're doing. I'm going to love you and leave you. And uh, and then next week, do yourself a favor, treat yourself to one of these. And then next week, we'll link this one up and we'll have a go at some Japanese um, symbols. We'll start using their their words. I did I did prepare it. Where is it? I'll show you. I looked up a couple of words that I'll show you. And then these are called ideograms, you see. So, for example, love. And what I did was I did the outlines in pencil, beauty, right, exactly as they look. So, for example, I've got a printout. See, serenity, strength, wisdom. Right. So what we'll do next week, I'll, sh I'll teach you or I'll show you what I've figured out, how to make these. So there you go. We've got peace. I've got two, two pieces. I need I need lots of peace. <laughs> Beauty and love. Love. And you can see I've given myself outlines, which is the perfect way to take your, your brush stroke pen, your, your calligraphy black pen, and then your outline tells you exactly when to get fatter and when to stop you know, when to add a bit more pressure and when to take the pressure off. So we'll have a little lesson in that next week, if you fancy. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Paul, for your company. Have a wonderful week. Um, and uh, yeah, and I will see you next Monday. Lots of love. Take care and, uh, and be safe. Bye-bye now.